Hello and welcome to today's video. This is a Ford Grand C-Max that we're looking at today and it's not working. Two keys, both not working. Step inside the car. Go in. Ford key not detected, okay. So what did I do? I got my computer on it and it comes up remote function actuator fault and once you go in there it will tell me once I've read the codes that it is it is <laughs> come on then mm -mm -mm -mm. The external receiver. Now I've deleted the code several times and it comes straight back on. So what is the external receiver? Well, on a Ford C-Max, I've had to strip some of the car back. And to inside the rear door, I've went up there and found the receiver to be just behind the um, the uh, the light there. And inside the back, I've so I've dropped this button down. I mean, you can take it right the way out, but for purposes, it's right here. So there it is. There. Let me get it out for you. So there it is. It's out. Uh, this is the one that's uh, relevant to the vehicle that I'm in. It's quite a generic part. It's probably about fifteen pounds off of eBay. You replace that because the terminal's inside there, sort of corrode away, as you can see. And um, yeah, you probably probably be able to clean it off and um, and repair it, but. Um, you're obviously uh, susceptible to um, it happening again. What we suggest that you do is is replace that part for one that hasn't corroded, um, was all clean, free from from any damage. In the UK, I'm looking at about hundred pound um, direct from Ford. Um, and then what I would do is is wrap it in a plastic bag, um, tape it up, and then put it back into the roof liner or wherever it's located in your vehicle, just to uh, help prevent it doing it again. Uh, that will repair your your car. Good luck guys. I am back again. Uh, two days after I ordered the part direct from Ford, it has arrived. So here we go. There's the new part. Thank you very much. Uh, slightly different part number on there, but it should all work. So uh, let's test it. Okay, so the part's now fitted. That looks like it's working. Okay, so key is there in my hand, not in the emergency slot there. Boom! So now, all that I'm going to do is wrap it in a carrier bag, um, stick a shed load of tape around it, because, as I mentioned before, up there gets a little bit damp and uh, it could potentially happen again at some stage in its life. So uh, let's prevent it from happening. Guys, I hope that this has uh, helped cure your car. All the very best and good luck.